Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to do a read aloud. And you know, Miss R is always telling you to read to someone, whether it be mom or dad or brother or sister, or even your dog or your fish. So I thought, I'll take my own advice. Today I'm going to read to my fish and my birds. We're going to read The Night Worker. This is written by Kate Banks, pictures by George Hallenslevin. Night falls. Bedtime comes. Papa kisses Alex goodnight. Then he puts on a hard hat. He is an engineer. Does anyone know what an engineer is? That's right. An engineer is someone who designs and builds things. And he is a night worker. Hmm. I wonder what it means to be a night worker. Can you think of people who are night workers? Let's read to find out if they list more. Take me with you, Alex whispers. No, not tonight, says Papa. But then, one night, Papa has a surprise. It's a hard hat for Alex. Alex puts it on and he smiles. <laughs> Come on, says Papa. And while Mama sleeps, Alex and Papa head quietly into the night. A street sweeper is making his rounds. A delivery man parks his truck. He stops to talk to a policewoman. They are night workers too, says Papa. Mm, I want to be a night worker, says Alex. Papa pulls into the construction site. Wow, look at all the things going on in that construction site. Alex hears the rattle and clang of heavy machinery. The men are hollowing out the earth. I wonder what it means to hollow out the earth. Let's look at this picture. I see a lot of digging going on. I'll bet hollowing out the earth means they're digging a big hole so they could put up a building. A building is going up. Papa and Alex switch on their flashlights. Click. As they survey the work site, stars shine like beacons for the night workers. I wonder what it means to survey. Hmm. That's right. Survey is to look around and get information. Do you think you can survey the room that you are in right now? I'm going to try it in my room. Survey, looking at everything. I'm going to get all this information. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Papa stops to talk to the foreman. Do you remember what a foreman is? That's right, the foreman is the one who's in charge of all the other workers. It's the supervisor. He spreads out a plan of the project. Do you remember what that's called? The blueprints. We're digging here, he says, and he points to a bulldozer leveling the ground. Clouds rise from the dust as the steel shovel, shovel pushes the soil into a midnight mountain. Wow, look at all that dust. An Excavator rumbles and turns. It reaches its giant arm into the air and it waves. Alex waves back. And then it sinks its teeth into the earth and it lets out a groan like a giant rolling over in bed. In a corner, a cement mixer hums steadily. The men are pouring concrete and sealing off the earth. They are laying the foundation, says Papa. Do you remember the foundation? That's right, it's the bottom of a building. He hoists Alex onto a railing. What does it mean to hoist? That's right, pick up. All right, so he hoists Alex onto a railing. 
a crane moves its mammoth load across the sky while someone keeps watch from the booth overhead. I want to help, says Alex. A big yellow loader starts its engine. <laughs> Up you go, says Papa, and he sets Alex down besides the driver. I wonder what Alex is going to do. Slowly, they crawl along the gravel. The driver puts Alex's hands on the levers. Ready, he says. Alex nods and he pushes the levers down. What do you think it's going to do? That's right, he's loading the dump truck. I'm a night worker too, Alex says, emptying his load. The dump truck closes its gate and drives off. A whistle sounds. <laughs> Gears grind to a halt. <laughs> it's time for the night workers to take a break. Papa and Alex survey the site one last time. All motion is stopped. It's like a held breath. Papa lifts Alex into his arms. <sighs> I'm tired, Alex says, and they head back into the night. A couple stands under a street light. A woman is walking her dog. It's late. Alex takes off his hard hat and he puts on his pajamas. And he crawls into bed. Morning comes. And while the city wakes, a little boy sleeps and dreams of being a night worker. The end. Now, why do you suppose it says Alex dreams of being a night worker? Why does he dream of being a night worker? I want you to think about that. Happy reading! <laughs>